Live from the world's capital markets, here are the financial headlines brought to you by Vantage. Hello and welcome to Daily Financial Outlook. Stay with us for more market headlines. US light crude oil gained more than 2% a barrel to end last week after comments by US Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell indicated the central bank was preparing to cut interest rates. Wall Street and global shares jumped on Friday toward all-time highs, while Treasury yields slumped and the dollar languished after a speech by US Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell confirmed the United States would soon begin interest rate cuts. The dollar fell and sterling rose to its highest in more than two years on Friday after Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell gave an unambiguous signal that the long-anticipated U.S. interest rate cut would come next month. The pound-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. According to the stochastic RSI, we are in an overbought market. The Bitcoin-dollar pair rose 0.3% in the last session. According to the Williams indicator, we are in an overbought market. The Euro-dollar pair traded sideways in the last session. The Williams indicator indicates an overbought market. The oil-dollar pair made a minor downwards correction in the last session, dropping 0.2%. The ROC is giving a negative signal. The U.S. durable goods orders will be released at 12.30 GMT. The U.S. non-defense capital goods orders at 12.30 GMT Germany's IFO Business Climate at 8 GMT. Germany's IFO Current Assessment will be released at 8 GMT. Japan's Coincident Index at 5 GMT. Japan's Leading Economic Index at 5 GMT. We hope that you've enjoyed Monday's financial review. On behalf of all of us here, we wish you a productive trading day. Be sure to join us tomorrow morning for the latest news and events from the financial markets.